Hello everyone. This is Unit 1 Portfolio Construction. And today's topic is Sharpay's Optimal Portfolio. William Sharpay had provided a model for the selection of various securities which are appropriate in a portfolio. The selection of any stock is directly related to its excess return. So excess return is nothing but it is denoted with beta ratio. He has given the formula for that for um, selecting the optimal portfolio that is Ri minus Rf upon beta i. Here Ri is nothing but it is the expected return on stock i. Rf is the risk-free asset, return on a risk-free asset and beta i is the expected change in the rate of return on stock i that is associated with one unit change in the market return. So there are certain steps for finding out the stocks to be included in the optimal portfolio. So first step is finding out the excess return to beta ratio for each securities under consideration. So the excess return, it is the difference between the expected return on the stock and the riskless rate of interest or risk-free rate, uh, risk rate uh, which is being offered on the government security or any treasury bill. So this measures the additional return on a security that is excess of the return that is risk free asset return per unit of systematic risk. So this wherein the ratio provides a relationship between the potential risk as well as the reward. So next step is ranking them from the highest to the lowest. Usually, the portfolio managers would like to include those stocks with higher ratios. So, this um, ranking of the stocks are done on the basis of their excess return to beta ratio. So, for that, the selection of the stocks depends upon a unique cutoff rate such as the stocks with the higher ratios can be calculated using Ri minus Rf upon beta i. So here calculation of cutoff rate is also another step wherein the, the those stocks which are um, having the lowest ratios will be left off and only the stocks with highest ratios will be taken into consideration. So this, that is nothing but here calculation of cutoff rate. So here is a formula wherein you can find out the CI that is um, cutoff rate. So CI is equals to standard deviation m square into summation Ri minus Rf into beta i upon sigma Ei square. So sigma Ei square is nothing but it is unsystematic risk. So here we are given with the variance of the market index that is um, Sigma M square is the variance of the market index and then Ri minus Rf that is the expected return on stock I minus Rf is nothing but risk free return or riskless asset return on a riskless asset into beta I. Beta I is the expected change in the rate of return. And uh, beta i upon 
sigma e i square. So sigma e i square is nothing but it is the the variance of stocks uh, that is uh, that is associated with the movement of uh, market index. Uh, that is I can say here it has a stocks unsystematic risk uh, which is unique uh, for a firm upon 1 plus sigma m square into beta square summation of beta square by sigma e i square. So this is the formula to calculate the c i that is cut off rate. So next step is you have to calculate calculation of the amount to be invested in each security. So these are nothing but the cumulated values which uh, cumulated values of C that start with um, start declining uh, that is uh, there will be a certain point wherein the cutoff point will be taken and that stock ratio is the cutoff ratio C. So here we can this can be taken with the help of this formula. So that is nothing but Xi is equals to this is finally for constructing the optimal portfolio that is xi is equals to zi upon summation zi. So what is zi? zi is nothing but so that is zi is equals to beta i upon sigma e i square into r i minus r f upon beta i minus c. So here C asterisk is there. So this is nothing but the cutoff point. So we can better understand it uh, through the example. So in the next video, I'll upload the problem or the example related to construction of optimal portfolio. So, stay tuned. Thank you.